I'm going to use copyright music because, well, this video is not being monetized. Hey, what's poppin', guys? It's me, Ty. So after a solid month, in today's video, I'm gonna be announcing the winners of the 2020 LEGO Quarantine Mock Contest. We got a total of over 100 entries. 100 entries doesn't really seem that much, but if you actually consider it, 100 individual people sacrificed hours of their time making creations for this contest. So because of that, I wanna thank everyone who entered. I will try my best to include as many videos and as many photos that were entered as possible so if your entry does not show up i'm sorry and i really apologize about that first i'm going to give honorable mentions and other special awards from there we're going to continue to our top 10 list and finally i'm going to finish this video off with a nice slideshow of some mocks that sadly did not get it in the other two lists but are definitely still worthy of looking at Never can stay goodbye. So first off, let's begin with our LEGO mock veterans. Basically, these are people that got in the top 10 list last year, but to allow fairness to let new people come into the list and experience being in the top 10, I sadly have to create a separate list for some of these people, although these mocks are spectacular. Diving right in, we have this sick medieval cottage that was entered by Sammy and Bricks. I love the detailing here, the trees, most importantly the design of the actual building. He paid attention to a lot of close details, but the design here is very well done. We have Epic E-Pig who entered this sick bunker. Guys, this is where Clutch Powers has been hiding all these years. Creativity-wise, I would give this like a 10 out of 10. Very well done. We have Tay Bricks who entered this military airstrip. Guys, this is the reason why you don't mess with America. And then we also have this build from Velo Bricks called My Home in the Forest. People say you can't hear pictures. Well, I sure can hear running water and birds chirping when I look at this build. So this first award is what I like to call the I would want to go hiking there award. And this goes to Wolfgang Weitzelbaum. At least that's how Google Translate pronounces it. Weitzelbaum. It's not my fault. Now, other than the dead bodies, I would actually kind of want to go hiking here. I especially love the waterfall design that he made. It really makes this build pop. Our next award is what I like to call the I Would Want to Live There Award. And this goes to our bricks because he built this house. It looks like a house, like a regular house, but it's not because it actually lights up. The best part about this is that the pool lights up. Imagine getting all the boys together and having a fun night in the, in the pool. That would just be awesome. For our mech award, I want to give this to Samuel Krivoski, who entered the steampunk mech. For the Star Wars award, I'm going to have to give this a tie between William Handloff, who recreated the ending scene from the third episode, and ELT Official, who made this Cal Kestis mock. I think both of these creations are simplistic, they're small, but they also contain some really unique features that make them distinguishable. For our creative award, this one goes to Tristan Sanders who created this Uncharted 4 collage. Looking at this build, I feel like I'm actually hanging from a cliff. I just love the artistic work here. And our spooky award goes to Lego for Life, who created this Steelworks warehouse from Stranger Things Season 3. And looking at the Mind Flayer, I mean, I'm just imagining what it would be like to get eaten by one of these, and that would just totally ruin your day. And then finally, our engineering award goes to Train Station 448, who entered this RC tank. Not only is this just a tank, but it also so functions like one it's able to go back and forth turn directions and it even has a suspension system so this is extremely epic and also another reason why you don't mess with America there's a few other honorable mentions I want to give out including O Lego who created this cool apartment where the interior pops out Lincoln's bricks who entered this really aesthetic beach house very modern design here the brick Aniac who recreated the Mandalorian finale Eli bricks who created this cafe subway and secret lab almost like a Gotham City build kick a brick who entered this beach house House mock, I would totally want to go on vacation here. And then finally, Brick Picks, who entered the Scandinavian house. Almost reminds me of those TV shows called Living Big in a Tiny Home. And finally, we have entered our top 10 list of our best entries. I was up till two in the morning some nights just looking at all the entries and trying to figure out and piece together which ones deserved which place, and we finally have our list. For 10th place, we have Brickspiration Studios who entered 
this medieval marketplace. I specifically like the small details he paid attention to to create the castle wall, as well as the strings and the flags. It has a very festive uh, design, and also he used an illegal building technique for the ground, and I'm very sorry to say this, but you're probably gonna have the FBI coming after you. Also, he eats cookies, so this guy is basically a G. For ninth place, we have Andreas Beck, who entered this medieval castle and village. This build is massive. The hills, the terrain, and the actual style really kind of captures like a German-esque theme. That's even a word. But anyway, really great build. Congratulations, Andreas Beck, if you're watching this video. Coming in at eighth place, we have Tatio Jr., who entered this mock entitled Underground. He captured two different themes here at this custom house, and then we transition downwards, and we have almost like a, kind of like a scary, spooky portion of the build. So the fact that he was able to capture these two aspects is just really excellent. It almost reminds me of like a Stranger Things build, like a good example would be the actual official Stranger Things set. Coming in at seventh place, we have Lego Lyman, who entered this build entitled Scruffy on Skull, Isle. I specifically really enjoy the terrain, the borderline for the ocean. Also, he paid attention to a lot of the smaller details, and also I like how there's a treasure chest that's kind of like buried into the ground. I almost feel like I'm actually on a deserted island myself. For sixth place, we have this butterfly and beetle mock from Gideon. B. I think this build is very cute. I think the look of the butterfly is exceptionally cute. I love the realistic look of it with the small details as well as a few tools that he included in this build like this magnifying glass. Really clever to use those wheel pieces as the handle. So congratulations Gideon B on that. And for fifth place, we have my boy, Sick Bricks, and he entered this modern house. I kid you not, this guy was up night and day during the time of this contest to make this build, so that itself deserves the highest amount of respect. He did a superb job, you know, creating a modern architecture tone. The fact that one portion of the building is at an angle, if you guys aren't aware, that's extremely difficult to achieve in LEGO. There's a lot of other great details, the designs of the furniture, very, very creative, and something that a normal person wouldn't just make. For fourth place, we have Rogue Brick, who entered this Republic gunship. A very, very awesome Star Wars build. I love the design of the actual gunship, which is like the central part to this build. And then most importantly, this build comes with a nice terrain section. So excellent job there. Now here we go, guys. Our top three winners. Now I truly believe that these people deserve their placement because of not only the overall looks of the build, but also the theme, the style, the complexity, and just a lot of other things. So for third place, we have Dan the Fan, who entered this Lego Medieval Cottage Mock. I, I can't think of anything that would possibly be bad about this. The design of the cottage is very, very realistic compared to like the ones that you see in Europe. The terrain design is excellent. I love the colors of this build. Using small pieces in a build has a huge effect on detail. And I don't think this guy used anything larger than like a one by two brick because literally every piece is put in a specific way that makes this build look nice and this seriously an awesome job for second place we're gonna actually take a trip down to mcdonald's no cap because we have this i'm, I'm just gonna say this is a portable mcdonald's vending machine from Lego Oreo. Now forget about going to McDonald's because you can have one in your very own home. This thing can give you fries, a burger, and a drink. What more could you ask for? And then most importantly, if we actually look inside of this machine, there's a ton of mechanics used in this build and this person deserves like an engineering degree or something. Seriously though, I think I'm actually gonna get McDonald's real quick. Here we are. McDonald's. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. And then finally, for first place, we have Brick Bruthus, who entered this mock called a Lego Medieval Settlement. Now, compared to all the other entries that we've gotten in this contest, this is an easy first place. He used a lot of sophisticated techniques to create the terrain. I love the water effects as well as the bridge, which is kind of at an angle. A lot of neat features, which are very difficult to achieve. There, there's just so many things about this build I love, which is why I think it definitely deserves first place. 
So there you go guys, those were our top entries for the 2020 LEGO Quarantine Mock Contest. Now if you weren't able to enter, don't worry because I'm actually going to be planning more contests in the future. Hopefully this winter I want to possibly even have like a Christmas mock contest. That would be pretty dope. want to give a big thanks once again to our winners, so go give them some love. Go check out their awesome builds. I'm going to link the top three specifically below for you to check out. Be checking your emails because I will send gift cards out as soon as I can. I mean here on this channel I get to see what I do. I get to to see what I create and what I make but for the first time I get to see what you guys create that's why I find mock contests like this extremely powerful because it's an opportunity to get engaged in the community and see what you guys have you know what you guys are up to but anyway enjoy the slideshow of other great mocks so I'll see you guys in the next video peace Sipping on straight glory let the vibes slide over me this beat is a chemical Sometimes I love to hate the fight And you in my life is like Sipping on straight glory 